winner. Why don't you win a Super Bowl? Why don't you? He, my dad used to always say that to me every time I got in the car. Why not you? Why not you? And that was the driving force question that was always asked to me. And I always asked myself consciously or subconsciously. And I think that the reality about that question, why not you? It's something that we all ask ourselves at some point in life, um, whether if you're a young child going through you know, cancer, as we go to the Seattle Children's Hospital all the time and you know, kids that overcome all the time, it's they have that mentality. Oh, I mean, why not me? Let's go do it. Mm -hmm. Or if it's, uh, you know, uh, somebody who's looking to get a job and it's adult and just got out of college to the young girl who has a big, big dream like Sierra did. And as you can see on the cover, that's a depiction of me here on the, on the front. Mm -hmm. And that's a picture of Sierra, but also our kids in a way, too, as well. And, uh, you know, so, so for our kids to be able to read this and for us to be able to read it to them as well, it was such a, a thrilling moment because the first day we ever met, we said, hey, you know, if we could if we could have a, if we could do one thing in the world, what would it be? And we talked about opening up a school. Why not you academy, which we did in Seattle. And then also we talked about writing a children's book. And uh, this is one of the things that we're so pumped to do. And it's, it's actually here. Why not you? Why not us? So, uh, you know, it's it's so it's so great and such a, an amazing experience. And we've worked with, with some amazing people as well. It's a big day. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, I love that story. And I do want to remind anyone that's watching that we are live right now. So if you have questions for these two, type it into the chat and I will try to get to as many as I can. And I already have a couple of viewer questions. I knew people would be so excited to chat with you both. Uh, this one is from viewer, it's ELZ. She says, hi, Sierra and Russell. What are some books you read and loved as children? Well, I, Clipper the Big Red, Clipper the Red Dog just came to my mind. I um, love Dr. Seuss books growing up. Um, yeah, I was definitely a Dr. Seuss girl, I would say. Those were my two favorite, honestly, too. I, you know, I, I, I used to read quite a bit, but I was always outside playing. And, and my, when I would come home, my parents would read to me or whatever it may be. So, you know, hopefully this is one of those books that as we create this one and you book series along the way, we want this to be the first one, but we want to do many more. And I think we're excited about that. And so we, we, we were, we're big believers. And I think growing up, we were big believers in character development. And I think Dr. Seuss did a great job of that. And I think as you guys I see the illustrations, books. you know, there's a lot, there's a lot to it as well. And there's a bunch of uh, young characters in this and every kid, we, as we were doing this, everyone wanted every kid to see themselves, boy or girl, um, all different, all different races and all different ages and sizes and everything else. So it, this was cool. Yeah, the illustrator, Jessica Gibson, did an amazing job at that. It's something I noticed when I was looking at the book. You have kids that look like lots of different kids. And we actually have a viewer question that says, I love the book cover. This is from customer EG. Do you have a favorite page? And I actually, I marked one of my favorite pages. I wanted to be able to show people this beautiful art. So oh, yeah. I just love this look. page. I think, oh my gosh, no way. There was <laughs> Twinsies. Yeah. Okay, I so it's the one. And like, yeah, these are you two as children, right? I mean, this is, it's yeah. adorable. This is, yeah, it's a mini Russ and a mini C basically, um, you know, and it's so cute because our kids see this and they're like, that's us, you know, they see themselves in it. <laughs> um, but you know, the, the book is so colorful, which I think is so important when you want to inspire, especially the youth, you want it to be colorful and full of life. And when you have a why not you attitude, that's colorful, right? Mm -hmm. That's like dreaming big and, creating that energy and setting the tempo that your dream is possible to achieve. Um, and Jessica Gibson did do a phenomenal job with helping us tell this story um, and paint the picture for us. And I also, what I love is I love this actual section here. It says, you know, I love it. I also love the ending statement that we have here. It says, there's truly no endeavor that's too hard or big to do. Your potential has no boundaries. You can do it. Why not you? So it's kind of like the perfect way to book in this book and, um, you know, and, and to end it on a super high note because throughout the book, the kids will go on, the, well, we will, and the kids as well in the book that we created will go on this great journey of trying to figure out what they want to do and go through that process, process of getting to their why not you. Yeah, I, I would say my is. favorite. Yeah, and I would go say, ahead. Sarah, my favorite page I think, is this one. I, I would say this one right here just because it shows um it shows the diversity of the kids it shows um you know kids just doing all different things and just dreaming about who they can be uh, i know I, I know um our kids love this page as well um but you know this page right here for example it says why not you why not you you're a winner you are st so strong you are perfect and important you and all your gifts belong so sweet. and i think that this page is about gifts we all have different gifts we all have different talents in the world and we need something special and so i think that's what this page really represents.
presents and uh you know future was like hey that, that looks like you dad you know playing baseball back in the day uh, and uh and sienna you know over here dancing and you know so it was just um it's a lot been a lot of fun you know working with jessica and and uh it's been amazing with the illustration she did a great job and we she matched our vision exactly what we depicted and we had a lot of fun while doing it mentioned before we started, I'm the mom to two boys. And I feel like when I'm reading them kids books, I don't know if you have this experience with your kids, but sometimes I feel like the book speaks to me even more than it speaks to them or like you get it as an adult. And you have a line in here about, have you heard the sky's the limit? Well, that's simply not true. And I was like, oh, I never thought of that before. And it's just, I mean, I really think, you know, kids books, yes, they're written for kids, but I think that a lot of adults are gonna find a lot in this as well. Absolutely. I think that's, you know, it's amazing that you say that because I totally agree when we're reading books to our kids, you relate to those stories and no matter how young they are, they transcend all ages. And I think that's when you know you have something great. And, you know, we have to also give a lot of love to Janae Brown Wood because she really helped us to tell the story exactly how we envisioned. And she had been already working in the writing space on the book side. Um, and, and to be able to create this book was almost like writing a song. You know, if you, you would, as you will realize when you read this book, it's, um, there's a lot of rhyming that's happening. Um, and I think that's obviously I'm a singer. Um, so there's that connection there for me. But even for Russ, like I'm a I poet. Say, I'm a poet. What can I say? <laughs> I always go, Russ is so creative, not only on the football field, but also off the football field. And you know, I think for him, it was also a really cool creative outlet to just be able to um, create in this space and us both doing it together made it that much more beautiful. Um, you know, words are powerful. You know, we're a big believer in, you know, when you speak. I always say when you speak, you have a chance to tell your life story. So when you speak, say great things. Mm -hmm. And um, we're really big on like speaking that life, you know, and putting those good things out there. And that's what this book does lyrically. Um, and the art, again, that Jessica did, Jessica Gibson did, just also really helped us tell that story like exactly how we wanted to. We have some more viewer questions. This is Amazon viewer Guru saying, welcome to Amazon. What inspired you to write this book and what are the challenges you face during the writing? Any writer's block? Well, I think first of all, what inspired us is just our childhood and just knowing that, man, we I get to be one of 32 men in the world get to do what I get to do. Uh, I grew up in Richmond, Virginia, not, not much at all. Uh, and I'm, we're here, we made it. And then to for Sierra, you know, uh, she was a military baby, went all over the world, uh, you know, grew up in, mostly in Decatur, Georgia, you know, and, you know, and she just has overcome every obstacle and along the way. And mm -hmm. uh, it's been cool. But I, I think for, for, for me personally, you know, why I wanted to one, because, you know, I, I felt like I was dating a girl way out of my league. And I said, you know what, if we get married, this would be fun. But <laughs> number two, uh, I just love our kids. And, you know, I think that for our kids to have dreams and, and, and also to share those dreams with our kids, but also for the next generation to, to hear and feel what we heard and felt from our parents. And yeah. um, whether they have parents or not have parents, I think the best part is, is that if we all get a chance to hear this message, it's something that we're going to hear quite often in our lives. And we're always going to have to ask ourselves, you know, why not me? You know, why not you? Why not us? You know? And so I think that question, why not you is a very critical question. And we're really excited about this because we got, we have a lot more we want to do. We got one a lot. We want to, right around this concept around why not you a lot more. And we did our foundation, you know, be able to give back and all that too as well. So it's been special and it's been one of the greatest gifts. I think the hardest part was, uh, I would say just the initial part of, okay, well, what do we want the characters to be like? Do we want to give them names? Do we want to do this? And what we decided on is, you know, we, we have a depiction of us, but what we decided on finally was, is that, you know what, let's have tons of different kids from all over. And, and, and ultimately, um, let's build the names maybe down the road, but let's start off with just every kid seeing themselves and whoever they may be and whatever they may think. And so that was the best part, um, the, probably the most challenging part, but the best part of this book. And I think that was, that was really fun for us. Someone's asking, uh, it's customer Grace, what was your inspiration behind the illustrations in this book? And it sounds like you really talked about it. Was there anything else in the illustrations that you want to mention? They're really, they're so beautiful and colorful. I just feel like I want to frame some of them in my playroom. <laughs> yeah, I think that exactly what you said is just having that life like that. You know, uh, Jessica Gibson's work just blew us away when we saw what she had done before we got together and we were looking at different options, people to work with. And there was just something, um, there was just a lot of, a, like her, her art was jumping off the page, you know, and we wanted that same impact with our book. 
And, um, you know, she just really hit it out of the park. You know, when we would give a note, um, she would, you know, take that note in and get it done. Like every pass came back with all the correct changes, which was really great. Um, but again, we wanted to paint the colorfulness of what these words mean. And, um, you know, and again, like you see, like the mini Russ, the mini C, you see us here yeah. swinging away. And um, again, just being able to really have representation of every child in this book was important to us as well. Um, and you can see, you know, you see kids of all colors and all shapes and sizes. And that's beautiful. That's what this world is, you know, and so that was our ultimate mission. Yeah. I think also too, I think the last part about that, Sarah, is that we wanted the one with every page to be vibrant and jump out to, to, to the parents, but also the kids. And, and I think that that was something that was really important to us is that we wanted the kids to, when they read this page, they, 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 you know, one of the things my mom always says is, and I know C's parents say too, is, you know, speak life. You know, we wanted to speak life into kids and that, Hey, you know, you know, dream big. Why not you, you know? And, and so like, for example, this page, what's your story? What's your mission? Well, you become or do now's your time. The whole world's waiting. All our hearts are set on you. And so like, to me, I think that that's the kind of energy and, 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 and uh, why not you attitude, as Sierra always says, that we want to be able to you know, bestow on, on, on children, not, not just our own kids, but the kids that we get to have fun with with our school, why not you academy, and so many kids that we get to meet along the way through, our, through sport and through, through music. So it's been a lot of fun. Are you both living your why not you dreams? Is this what you thought about when you were little kids? Absolutely. Um, you know, I think if you would have talked to Russ and I, before he and I met each other, and then when we met each other, and if you asked us in two separate rooms what was on our goal list, a lot of those uh, ideas or thoughts that we had would run parallel. Yeah. Um, you know, we both, um, you know, had big, big dreams. You know, again, as he mentioned, we didn't have much coming up, but we had big dreams. And I think that's that why do you attitude? If you have that, I mean, the sky really is the limit, you know, and we mean that in every essence. And so, um, you know, we, we had this on our list. We had our Why Don't You Academy. Well, we actually had a school, the idea of a school to be able to go to school one day um, on our list. And we've been able to do that together through our Why Don't You Academy school and then also our charter school. And then, um, you know, Russ had already had this great journey, um, you know, with building the, with starting out the Why Not You Foundation. And it was a blessing to be able to join him on that great journey. And it's been so beautiful doing it together and then to create this book. Um, you know, which is another extension of how important the why not you message is to us and that every person can remind themselves to dig, dig deep into that attitude from child up. You know, we all have to dig into that attitude. There's sometimes we face challenges along our way and we are really blessed for sure, but there's so much more that we want to do. and We don't take any of it for, for granted. And we know that that why not you attitude is, what, is what, what's going to keep us, you know, um, going and, and getting closer and closer to all of our dreams. Yeah. So I think it's, it's been, um, yeah, I think that uh, it's definitely been everything we've ever dreamed of, I think, together. Um, there's, and there's more to do. I mean, there's more people to inspire. And you know, there's 8 billion people in the world. 8 billion people in the world and we all have a mind we all have a heart and we all have ability to think through things and how do we encourage one another and i think that's such an important thing is you know it's not about it's not about the you know the the people um it's not about the people that we are right now it's about who, who's the next kid you know who, who can be that when i teach my camps for football for example i always tell the uh, the coaches you know we always have a 10 to 1 ratio so if there's a if there's a thousand kids we have 100 coaches and i always say bring the coaches up right in the middle of the field right before we start and i say hey if, if we could inspire one kid today just one just one if we can inspire one kid today that one kid may change the world and I think that's the, this. This is uh, this is that one kid. Hopefully, maybe maybe your, maybe your two sons uh, reading this here, but they may change the world. And hopefully, this can be a part, a small token of of inspiration for them as well with the wine at you attitude. My kids are definitely going to change the world. I don't know what they're going to do, but um, they're going to do something. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Why not? Why not you? Why not them? Uh, I love this question from customer Felicia Harris. She said, how did your children rate this book? So what do they think oh, about they it? Love, they love this yeah. book. They were so excited. We actually kind of kept it tight, you know, for a little while while we were creating it. And then when the big reveal moment happened, it was very special for us um, to see the joy in their faces 
um, and their excitement. And they really liked it. And again, they were like, oh, that's me. That's me. You know, and they were looking at the book. They <laughs> saw themselves in it, which was really sweet and powerful. Because we, that was important to us that when our kids read a book like this, they can see themselves in it, you know, and, you know, you hope for that same reaction for every other kid in this world that will get this book. Um, but it was really, really sweet. It was, again, like, yeah, it was cool. It moment. was cool. They were so excited that they wanted to give the, the, the one that you booked to to their teachers this morning. So we we uh, drove to school, uh, you know, and had we had a early morning interview this morning and then we took the kids to school and uh, the kids were in the back and they said, well, we want to give the, you know, our books to our teachers. So we uh, we end up signing the inside, you know, of the books and gave them to their two teachers. And uh, that was really cool. And and uh, Sienna was like, oh, you know, you're you know, mom and dad are authors, you know, and future is so pumped to give it to his teacher as well and to rave about it. And he he, he him and uh, Sienna, they see themselves in that cover. So it's such such a good uh, feeling for us to know that. Um, when, when Future's reading it, for example, and he's reading with such a, a full heart and, and such an, an amazing, uh, he's an amazing reader, first of all, um, but also too, just to know that, um, you know, he's part of this process and to know that Sienna's part of this process and when, and they're, they're their true inspiration, the reason why we do this all. So, um, you know, I'll hopefully have some more kids so we can write some more books. You know? <laughs> so my um, my five year old asked me yesterday if I could interview or if we could call Superman on the phone or Spider Man, and I said, "Oh, I I don't think I could do that." And he's like, "Maybe you could interview him, mommy." I was like, "Okay, I'll try." But they're so receptive to like what we're doing and how we spend our time. It's I don't know, but obviously this message came through to you both, which has been amazing. Yeah. Uh, we yeah, have it's Amazon it's customer been... attention. Go ahead, please. Go ahead. No, you got it. You got what Benjamin, I think it was saying. You, you had Benjamin calling. Benjamin Perry wants to know what books are you reading to your children during these times? I want to know the answer too. Well, I like, um, what is it? I want to say silly goose, but I feel like I'm missing a word in the title. Um, it's so funny. It's like basically the goose is, is not a smiling goose, um, but he smiles by the end. It's so cute. Um, dog man, future loves dog man. Dog man's good. Um, Sienna loves Gossy, Gossy the Gosling books. Oh yeah, um, Gertie, we like those too. It's like a whole series. Um, yep. She loves that. Um, and they kind of like memorize it so well. You know what I also loved? And I like to say love because I read it probably even more frequently when the kids were younger, but Brown Bear, what do you see? Brown Bear, Brown Bear. Um, yeah. That book is amazing. Um, but yeah, those are a few of the books that have come to the top of my mind right now. Yeah, and they keep, I mean, this book's been sitting on a kitchen. They keep wanting to re rewind at you as well. So it's yeah, fine. I mean, we, so cute. they love reading. I mean, they'll, I mean, Future will read all day. So, you know, we read every loves, night, you know, every, every night. night, and before nap time for when. Yeah. So, but his books are a bit younger. <laughs> so, so our three kids, they, they love reading. I, I, you know, I wasn't very good at reading at first. You know, I didn't start reading until like later in second grade. I was okay. All my friends could read. And so to me, it wasn't that I didn't try. I just, you know, our kids, they, they, they started so young. I think Sierra's done an amazing job reading to them every night. And, and then I, I get to hop in there, you know, dad gets to hop in there and read to them too. They, you know, they, when I read, they're like, Oh dad, you know, <laughs> like <laughs> they really want mama to read to them. I think it's her voice. I think it's her voice. But, uh, it's always fun. You know, it's just to be able to have that quality time. And, and it's pretty cool that they get to, you know, put, pick, you know, our own book that we wrote off the bookshelves, you know, that's, it's pretty amazing. It's pretty, a, you know, we've done some amazing things in our lifetime, Sierra and myself and us combined, but to be able to do this, oh, this amazing. is something that I think, you know, is going to influence kids for, for a lifetime. And so that's, what's exciting for us. Yeah. You could have people on here and, you know, 10 or 15 years talking about this is the book that did it for them. It's and, you know, one. not, yeah, that's the goal. The that's the goal. Birdie, yeah. But yeah, this one. Uh, if you like the Gossy books, Duck and Goose is also a very cute series that your daughter might like. Awesome. Um, we're big, we're I big love fans that. Here. Awesome. I'll uh, check it we out. have Amazon customer Justin. He said, congrats on the book. Is music next? The fans have been waiting. No pressure. Justin, hey, you my guy, Justin, hey. No, um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm excited. I literally have been having the time of my life in the studio um and justin all i have to say is i definitely am going to quench your thirst you're going to be getting some bops real soon um it's going to be it's going to be exciting i'm i'm honestly super pumped i feel 
I kind of have a nostalgic feeling. It kind of feels like me back in the very beginning, um, but me 2.0 from when I was, you know, first starting my goodies album um, and, and where I am now creatively. So I'm excited, really excited. We have Amazon customer Jack asking, what's the take home message behind Why Not You? I know we've talked about it a little bit, but um, for people that are just joining, what would you say is the one message you want readers and kids to get out of this book? I think the take home message is, is first of all, there's going to be life struggles. There's going to be tough stuff as you go on your life. But I think there's also going to be times where um, there is no dream that's too big. And I think that Every day, you know, hopefully as kids read this book and every night as they lay their head down at night, um, boy or girl, that they see themselves and then they, they can accomplish any goal. If we could accomplish, me and Sierra, we accomplish what we've been able to accomplish, you can too. And so this is, um, this is from the heart. This is from our own personal experience of life. And that's why it's so touching for us and so uh, kind of um, surreal for us to be able to say that, you know, we, I remember talking about this the first day. So I think the thing to take home is, is that, you know what? Why not? Why not you? It's the exact mm -hmm. title. That's why we named the title what it is. You know, why not you? And I think that when parents, you guys get this for your kids and your cousins and your nephews and your family members and friends and all that. I think what's important is this message. And it really is true because every, all things are possible. And I think that when, when you have this kind of perspective, when you have that kind of attitude, no matter what you're facing, no matter what the endeavor, or no matter what the struggle is, um, something great's going to happen if you have that attitude. And I, I really believe that it's been something that's been super uplifting in our in our family and our lives um, each individually but also together in our own kids and uh, we've seen it we've seen it directly at children's hospitals we've seen it directly at uh, places like friends of the children and why are why not you academies and um you know in the inner city when, when we tell kids why not you they, they believe um and so we had a kid named milton wright that i met you know it gives you a little short summary but we had a kid milton wright had cancer three different times and he didn't want to he, he was like this is it this is it and i walked in the room and sat next to him on the bed and and, and sell children's and i said you know why not you and he said you know what why not me why not me go try t-cell therapy you know i'm gonna get up and go do it and within two weeks cancer was gone and so i, I this message is, is a real life changer it's not a, just a, um one of those messages that oh just let's be out here and you know have some fun this is about fun this is about um you know you know victory and overcoming but it's also about life it's about it's about instilling this in our in, in, in our kids but also um, you know, letting kids know that, you know, what you can dream no matter what your obstacle is, no matter what you're facing, it's possible. Mm -hmm. And that's why, why not you have such a, an important message? Yeah. I'll, I'll also just say, you know, I, I always have been a believe that where you come from in life doesn't determine how far you go. And again, growing up, growing up, not having much, but having a why not you attitude was critical to my success and my determination and my will and ambition mm -hmm. and drive. I just kept believing why not me? Like, why not? you know, go off and be one of the best entertainers, you know, that you can possibly be. And, you know, why not be able to see all your dreams come true? And that attitude is what continually keeps me going. It's what continually keeps us and, you know, reaching for higher heights because that, that why not you attitude creates a fire inside of you where you're like, I can do it. Like you really start to, you really do start to believe when you say, why not me? Like that, why not you attitude? You're like, why not? Like I can, it's like a self question that you need to ask yourself. So and then you go and you answer it back. You're like, yeah, I can actually. So yep. let's go. And so, you know, I, I think that we just want for every kid to know that the, um, you know, the power of their dream coming to life is within them. And if you have this kind of attitude, the sky really is a limit, you know, um, you're going to have obstacles and you're going to have triumphs and challenges along the way. That's what life is going to bring us all. We know that, but with the why not you attitude, you can persevere through them all. And that's some of the words that we also use in this book. So uh, we want to inspire everyone to have that attitude and to dream big because um, you really can do uh, what you put your mind to with the why not you attitude. And maybe I take a little bit too much from kids' books, but I truly believe this is a great book for adults as well. Well, I know Absolutely. we're almost out of time. So thank you both so much. And for everyone watching, don't forget to check out Why Not You. It's in the carousel below. Ooh. Sarah Russell, thank you again. And for everyone watching, you can click the follow button for notifications on more Author Live series. And I just wanted to say again, thank you both for your time. Congratulations on the new book. And hopefully thank we'll you see you so back much. here on Author Live soon. It's exciting. Okay. Thank you guys I'm gonna so much. I'm going to video us really fast for my stories. Okay. Oh, yeah. Amazon We're in promo. Live. Amazon. Right here. We made it. It's so cool. Why not you? Promo day. Why yeah, let's go, Sarah. 
All righty. Why not you, everybody? So good. Thanks Thank so you. much. Okay. See Bye. you guys later. Thanks so much for the help. Bye. Bye.